I was just thinking about how easy it is for especially Bible-based religious people to become red-pilled. With trust in media at an all-time low, it's pretty easy for a lot of people to just completely disconnect from mainstream media. Now, in this video, I'm not trying to defend mainstream media. There's a lot of lies. There's a lot of, I mean, media is out there to make money. And it doesn't really matter whether you're talking about mainstream media or alternative media. They're, they're out there to make money. So you've got to take that into consideration when you're, when you're looking at or listening to them. But what do people want to replace mainstream media with? Well uncertifiable, sourceless, biased, right-tilting media that often tries to peddle you know, homeopathy and uh, strange supplements on the side. Now, I mean, people will say, oh, well, they have to make money somehow. I'm like, yeah, but you don't have to peddle that kind of stuff. Now, to be fair, there are people who who peddle uh, survival products because they're convinced that, and, and they'll tell people, oh, we're living in end times. And, well, that's an easy narrative to follow if, you know, you're Bible-based religious because you believe in that sort of thing already, so. Or maybe listen to a bunch of citizen journalists who have no idea how to have any sort of journalistic integrity. You know, they don't know how to be impartial. They probably haven't even spent enough energy to even look up a Wikipedia article about journalistic standards. None of it, you know. They just, oh, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a citizen journalist. Oh, okay, great. And and we should listen to you. Why? Well, because you're red pilled, and you state that you're red pilled. So you know, and and you're against mainstream media. So we should listen to you, right? You know, if you're red-pilled, then any information you gather is completely valid by virtue, right? You know, while bragging about having great critical thinking skills, where, you know, if you're against the left and you state you're against the left, that means you have critical thinking skills just, just by virtue, just, just by hating the left, right? You're a deep critical thinker with important ideas, right? And what are those important ideas? Well, they're traditional ideas, right? They've worked for thousands of years, so they should work today, right? But it's, it's usually really easy for, especially Bible-based religious people, to believe in this sort of red-pilled reality, you know, as it simply requires faith. And if you already have faith in some things without evidence, then it's pretty easy to, to take the jump to believing in other things without evidence. You know, faith that everything that mainstream media says is wrong, that virtually everything that's against mainstream media is righteous. Especially when those sources say over and over again that they're out there to find the real truth. The more they say they're genuine and that they're out there to find the real truth, the more you should believe them, right? It's also the belief that to be against everything established, except, of course, religion and traditional beliefs, puts you on the right side of history. So yeah, it's easy for a lot of religious people to become red-pilled. It makes them feel good. It makes them feel like they know something other people don't. That they see patterns that other people don't. That they have something over other people. And, you know, also that they feel like they're part of a club. Oh, they're a club of free thinkers, right? I have a feeling that the next couple years is going to be a rude awakening for everyone. People on the left, people on the right, and especially the red pillars who have been so convinced that alternative media is the only source of truth. How many times do the popular bit shooters and odysseers and gabbers and blazers have to be wrong before some of these red pillars go, hmm, hmm, maybe, maybe we're coming at this wrong. Not going to happen, because never apologizing and never admitting when you're wrong is kind of part of the whole red pill thing. You know, it's part of the charm of being red pilled. To be quite honest, a few years ago, I was red pilled for a short period of time. I was saying, oh, well, you know, uh, the people that just can't handle Trump, uh, you, you know, uh, ha ha, 
I, I mean, I, I got into this whole mode for a period of time. That often happens with me when, when, I, when I've wanted to understand a side, I, I try to go there as much as I can. And, uh, well, I'm glad that I got out of that. <laughs> so, but I did understand what it felt like for a period of time. I just think it's really unfortunate that there are a number of atheist red pillars out there who think that American traditionalism isn't anti-LGBT, isn't misogynistic, you know, isn't racist, that I should join them and do the Dave Rubin waltz, maybe do the Tim Pool cha-cha, or the Joe Rogan slam dance, right? You know, have those important discussions about high-level traditionalist ideas, right? <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.